Did you have a dream? Well, come on. Pass the copies around. Gossip column is not in my book anymore. I wonder if we can open that back door a little bit to get some cross ventilation. Um, I was, I was at a Buddhist meditation place, all religious place. <clears throat> Theme was mostly Buddhism. There was a lot of activity beforehand, but right now two people were going to get married. Both were friends. I asked myself, are they going to get married here? I thought I would ask to get involved in some kind of relaxation meditation project. This one girl getting married said she would help me. This going to marry Javier. Um, they went into the back part of the temple. The ceremony started. I asked one of the girls, I felt obligated to go to both. Can I go to both? This one girl said yes, the one who was going to do the meditation with me. She didn't seem she wanted me to go into the other wedding. It, it didn't seem like she wanted me to go into the other wedding. Her look was stressed, but I gave her a big hug. She wasn't sure before, it's before, and it seemed she didn't want to get married, but that hug seemed satisfactory to her, and she was resolved she was going to get married. I was wearing this blue dress as if it was going to be part of the ceremony. There was this girl next to her who was wearing a nice lace dress, and she was the maid of honor, her sister. There was this girl behind me who was also wearing a blue dress. She said she liked blue. I thought they seemed to be making dresses in blue, kind of a heavenly blue. The dress was beautiful, so I'm wearing this blue dress. Uh, I guess I repeated it several times. I'm going to check out the first wedding. I went into the church area thinking that was where the wedding was taking place but that was not where they were having the wedding. It was off to the side, separated by a cardboard partition, a very small space. I could see their feet. I thought that this was bad, not a very nice place for a wedding. It was, the whole ceremony was mill-like. I thought I couldn't fit into that place. It seemed it was only the bride and groom, no other room. Why do these people get married in this kind of environment? And why would the priest not make it beautiful for these people? It's a special for these people. It was insulting and crude. I was watching this. Well, I thought the next one is going to go up. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. okay. Ready? Yes, sir. Okay. State of mind. Huh? Um, she looked like a flower center. Uh, what was it like seeing her? Um, it was sudden. It was um, like she was, you know, those birthday cakes where the people come out. Well, only she was in a flower arrangement, mm -hmm. and she was the center of it. And it was like she came out of it. And it, the suddenness of it was um, shocking. More. Um, surprised. More. Uh, puzzled because it wasn't um, the the first thing was that she popped out of this flower arrangement and it didn't seem to fit but 
somehow I made a connection that that was a form of purification and I resolved it. But it was um, an odd kind of purification, but it seemed to be uh, the proper thing to do. Like uh, the purification was stripping her of all um, unnecessary, uh, just pure, purifying her. Um, what did it do to you to, to see, see that? that? Um, there she is. She's like a flower. Come on. Well, I was... I was going through a lot of uh, conflicting kind of states of mind. Like, I, it was sudden. I was surprised. At the same time, I thought it was out of place. Um, I rectified it because I thought it was a purification um, and resolved that it was um, it was good because it would benefit me if she were purified. Uh, it was good. It, it was good because it, it her pur purifying would benefit me because of the meditation. That was its purpose. So it relieved me of um, that she was going to be um, um, purified, no. absent of any judgments or. I still don't have an idea yet <clears throat> of what it did to you to see her the way in which you just described. Mm. I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. This could be positive or negative. Mm. This could be beautiful or ugly. This could be, you, I don't have the content. Well, it seemed neutral almost. It okay. wasn't neutral. Ne it wasn't so much, it was sudden and shocking, but it wasn't, uh, the impact was not, um, I don't recall that very well. Um, um, uh, that's good then. If that's what it is, okay. Maybe neutral. Okay. Next. Okay. Function. Relieving. I do remember Function. it was relieving. Function. In the dream, how are you functioning? Seems like I'm by myself, not doing much. I'm observing other things happening around me. But I'm not. Um, okay. And then you then have that reaction to where the wedding is taking place, don't you? Yeah. Right? What was that like? Come on. That was appalling. Appalling. It was appalling. opposite to the sudden and beautiful, but this was appalling. <coughs> this was... Appalling. It yes, was I know. bad. No. It was... Bad. Uh, Come on. Um, insulting, like I thought... You know, this is where you're carrying on a special ceremony? No, no. What a terrible thing for these people, cramped in this little small space. And uh, what do you say? Cramped. No, no. In this I, small no, no. space. And what do you say? Nothing. I don't say anything. What I do just you think of that? Hmm. Right. Your response is what? Well, I would have to go behind the cardboard and tell the priest and the situation, which was already ongoing, what yeah. are you guys doing it back here for? Yeah, yeah. Knowing that, you said nothing. What did that do to you? Hmm. Right, you're silent. Yeah, I am. Right. What was that like? Second life. Hmm. Well, I know my my if my state of mind was I didn't like where I was. I didn't like my state of I didn't like it. 
and I didn't like my state of mind, and I didn't like being there, seeing that. But I was silent to it. What was that like? Being I, silent. Being silent, and you didn't like being there. What was that like? Kind of trapped. Okay. Not unsure what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, what am I going to do with all this? Where does it go? Not yet. Oh. What's the, the problem in the dream? Well, I saw there was there were two problems. And I do know when I hugged the woman. Yeah, what was um, that like? Come on. Uh, the way I put it is that her look was stressed, but I gave her a big hug, and she wasn't sure before it seemed she didn't want to get married. I didn't ask her anything, but the hug seemed to be satisfactory to her. And, sure. and I wasn't happy about that. Like, I was still, I was conflicted. Like, I should have said something. Like, I saw she was stressed. I The hug was not, it was like I saw her stressed. I hugged her, but it wasn't to hug her because she was stressed. It was more coincidental, like I'm hugging her because she was a friend, Got it. but not uh, yeah. because she was stressed, but it relieved her suddenly. Okay. And I went, oh, okay. I didn't question her then. So uh, what did that do? To her or me? Hugged woman. No, what did that do to her? It. It satisfied her. It made her happy. And what else? And she went ahead and was going to get married. How are you functioning? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, uh, not very well in my book. Pardon me. How I don't are you functioning? To take away her puzzle or stress from the, or puzzle from getting married. I mean, I didn't let her keep it or wonder about it. Somehow it changed it. Let me, let me ask you again. What role are you playing? Pacifier? Pacifier? Please, stay with the, stay with how it functions. What do you think of the change that the woman went through as a result of your hugging her? Jay, oh, she dream. changed completely her state of mind. Look her. Completely changed her state of mind. Right. She was resolved and committed and directed. What kind of people do that? Oh, do you know a therapist who can do that? <laughs> no. Then it's not a therapist. <laughs> it's not a therapist. <laughs> Just from a hug. Hmm? It was a hug because of a freedom. Well, it, it was an interesting hug because it wasn't something that was, how would I say it? It wasn't done to relieve her stress. It was because I was a friend. How are you function? What role, role are you playing? Oh, <coughs> you were having a difficulty giving us a name. Yes. Please do so. Um, Was not a ther. <coughs> no. This is not something a therapist would do. No. How about a dentist? No. How about a shoemaker? No. How about a cop? Now you tell no. me. No. Um, well, there were no words in it, so I, I was thinking maybe midwife, but I'm not doing that. I'm not, there's no words in it. So I'm functioning as, uh, I don't know what you would call it. Um, <laughs> who would hug a per, like it would be some, 
psychic kind of involvement? Oh, I, uh, like I, somebody, I don't know. Somebody no. who was able to transform somebody by a hug? Oh. Um, but I don't know who does that. A coach. Not a coach. No. Okay, a I'm, coach. I'm wrong again. A, co a coach wouldn't do Come that. On. You do do it. Uh, How, now watch. I it, guess some coaches would. Please, that. You're not seeing I'm not. the drama. Look at mm -hmm. where is this being? What is the place in which this drama is taking place? A Buddhist meditation Thank place. You. How are the priests doing in this temple or place? Oh. Well, if the priest is there, he's doing a crummy job. Grid, hey, please, grade them in the dream. How are they doing? F. How are you doing? Good. A. Thank you. What role are you carrying as a Bo in a Buddhist temple? Oh, well, actually, Buddhist monks, when they maybe have people that pass their koans, they'll hug them. And but it, and, but it, that's true. But do you know anyone who in that hugging brings about that transformation? No. Oh, so it's like a Zen master who does that. But then do you go beyond that? Yes. Name, yes. please. <laughs> Help. A Buddhist monk, I don't know, Roshi, but that doesn't, Roshi doesn't do that. So come on, it's your dream, you tell me. I don't know. A Roshi wouldn't do that. Um, it's right there. Part Roshi. What's the other part? Assistant to the Roshi? I don't know. <laughs> Roshi. If you are doing an A grade, while they are doing an F, and you know that, that what you are doing is similar to what a, a Roshi would do during a passing of a koan, but you're doing far greater than that, completely changing the person's state of mind, you said. Right, it did. Therefore, what kind of Roshi are you? Um, An assistant. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. I don't know. Good, a good Roshi. I no, don't know. name or nothing. <sighs> that's your dream. You can't put a name on it. And uh, you see. can't see what you're what you're doing. No. How are you doing? I'm doing good. A, uh, I'm seeing well. A. A. Seeing well, doing well, acting well, playing on a role well but you don't know what you're doing. No, the only people I see that change like that are people that you talk to. They change their state of mind completely. Therefore, you're like me. Yes. From what you're saying. Yes, except hugging. You don't but hug. You, but that's right. But you did it by hugging. Yes. No words. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. Yeah, what? Well, I don't, uh, did, <laughs> I don't know, completely. I don't like the, no. where this, <laughs> please, we're doing Yes, yes, work. yes, I know, I Put know. Put that aside. Well, if it had words in it, it would be nope. a philosopher. Therefore, if it doesn't have words, but it's having the same effect, and you're doing it with a, a hug. Hug, I would. Um, I, a shaman Thank of you. some sort. At least that's better. Yeah, a shaman. What do you think of that? That's better. You're not seeing that you're a shaman. A shaman. The yeah. dream is saying, hey. A shaman. Yeah, no words. Yeah, and you'll let the F, F priest off the hook. Huh. Right? Yes. No words. Yeah. Oh, too bad. Maybe the next dream. No, how are you doing with, with, the, with the students? Oh, I'm doing good with the students. Yeah, how are they doing? They're doing good. They're not doing good at all. The students? No, no, I mean the, the priests. Oh, the priests. 
No, they're not. They're bad. Yeah. Yeah. How are uh, you doing? <laughs> I just thought of something. What? I've had three dreams in a row where I am taking different agencies. One was UCI, one was Harvard, and now Buddhists. Yeah. And it's like I'm, in each of those, I am above the, the system of professors or people yeah. in that system. Yeah. And the same problem in all of them. Yeah. But you can't see what you finish it. What role I'm playing. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. I'm not seeing something, huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. Just yourself. <laughs> well, I'm myself, yes. That's all. Other than that, it's Small fine. problem. Yes, that's so cool. Good. Thank you, sir. Right. Please. I sit down at a desk. I am at school and apparently in one of the math rooms. On the board, there are formulas quadratic, slope intercept, Pythagorean, logarithmic, and so on, but there are no real problems. I am writing on a paper, perhaps a test. Though the questions involve different numbers and scenarios, I simply copy down the formula that matches each problem. I do this carefully, slowly, and then turn my paper back over and relax back into my seat. I wait at the desk, satisfied and bored. Someone comes around and collects my paper, which I watch sail through the air away from me. Good. States of mind, all right? Is what is it like? Second paragraph. Hmm. When you finish your work, you sit back, relax, you're back into your seat. What was that like? I feel completed. I feel More. satisfied. More. Um, done, at rest. I feel like I've done my work. Is that similar to uh, an experience you've had in the past? Yeah, I mean, I, I felt satisfied with my work before. Among the past experiences of being satisfied, where would you place this one in the dream? Pretty low, because I don't know exactly what it is. I'm Pardon? I say pretty low. Because? Because I don't know why I'm satisfied. Uh, pardon me, that's different. The state of mind itself, it's satisfied, done, I'm at rest. Yeah. Now you're saying, I'm putting it low because I don't understand. That's true. Forget the understanding, just the experience. Okay. What was that? Compare that with other times you were satisfied, done, at rest. Well, I didn't do any real work. But nonetheless, you're nonetheless, satisfied, done, and at rest. Okay. So I'm ranking it low. Okay, I don't mind. Okay, good. Uh, what is it when you're watching the paper sail through the air? I'd say it has something to do with the boredom in the beginning of that. I don't know what else. I have nothing else to do, so I'm kind of just True. watching what it is, with no control. Yeah, what is it like when you're watching the paper sailing away? It's helpless. More helpless? Um, detached? Uh, lost? Hmm? Lost? See, uh, we need to know a little bit more about the dream. Okay, let me ask you. Um, it's your test. You're taking a test and you're seeing your paper, right? There it goes, sailing through the air. 
away from me, see? Right. Now, this is your reaction, your, the feeling state you're in. But you're watching your paper sail away from you. It's a test paper. Yes. Yeah. So that, that happens all the time. Mm -hmm. It does. My papers just sail away from me. Well, I guess what I mean is that someone collected it. Pardon? Someone came around and collected the paper, and it's them. I want to know whether that's literal or not. Did you see the paper sail away from you? In the dream, yes. I just, saw, dream. I just saw the paper move away. I didn't really pay attention to the person lifting it. That's good. But I did see, like, the person was collecting the paper. What was it like watching the paper sail away? A little, a little odd. A little, it was weird. Well, odd. Odd. Yeah. More. Come on. I don't expect a paper to just sail away. So, yeah, I guess it, it didn't. It was. It didn't fit. Like the whole dream felt, felt off, and that was kind of the, the ending of it. It just like finished it off. Finished yeah. off the weirdness. What was it like, seeing your test paper sailing away, and you felt odd about that? Does that capture it? Almost. But I feel like... like oh, it's odd. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, it's odd. I guess not just odd, then. I guess bewildered. Like bewildered. That's better. Come on. See, I'm trying to get more words from it. Bewildered. Okay. Yeah, bewildered. Uh, maybe a little bit amused, even. Like, it was a, little bit, it's a little bit funny to think about. Yeah, okay. Um... Bewildered, amused. Bewildered, surprised. Odd, surprised. Amused. What? Surprised. Surprised. That's good. All right. That's an interesting state of mind, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. When did you have the dream? Uh, two nights ago. Two days ago. Uh, can you recognize that state of mind uh, three days ago? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yeah. When? In school. If you care to talk about it. It was, it was in school. Go ahead. It was uh, some material that was brought by a teacher that everyone was expected to know. And no one knew, no one had any idea what was going on, and partly because of the teacher's lapse. And so everyone was like looking around at each other because no one had any idea what was going on. And it became a bit comical because the teacher expected everyone to know what was going on. And, and, and everyone was just kind of laughing at that. And you were chuckling or laughing? We were, like, amazed, amazed and confused. Right? Right. Bewildered and surprised. Yep. Where did, what happened? What did you do with that state of mind? What happened next? It, it turned into dissatisfaction later because we all d d uh, completed the assignment being bewildered and surprised and amused. And then later, because we didn't have control over it, because it had been the teacher's sort of law that had been put down, then we were dissatisfied with the outcome of it because we hadn't understood... Like, in the, in the end of it, we hadn't understood the material. It's just like the dream. You finish the paper, you finish the test, right? You finish the test. Satisfied. It's done. Right? Uh, no one said anything. You didn't say anything. No, we just let it teach it. Take Same it thing in the dream. What do you think of that? Didn't, I mean, it didn't feel good in the end. It didn't make me happy. Mm. It didn't make me happy that I didn't say anything. Mm. But I also don't know what I would have said. No. Is it possible in that kind of a class for you or anyone else to be able to, to make such a statement about what is going on? It should be, yes. It should be. It should be. No. It was it. it. It didn't feel like it was. Okay. So to say something, you'd have to get over that sense that... That it didn't feel like yeah. it was possible. Yeah. yeah. Does that feeling uh, block you at other times from saying what you want to say? Yes. Hmm. Got a long history, you could say? Probably. 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 I yeah. mean, I'd probably have to think back to specific yeah. times. But the, but the dream is reminding you, isn't it? Right. Hey, that was a time to say something. 
But what's the reason you couldn't? Because say what you said again. I felt I, I felt like I couldn't. I felt like I couldn't. Yeah. 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 It, maybe it has something to do with the fact that there was authority, like. That's why I had to ask you, would it have been allowed in the classroom? Right. And you said yes. It should be allowed. But that's it would be allowed. It would be allowed. That's I didn't it. feel like it. Like but it was you didn't allowed. feel it. Yeah. Right. It, watch now. It should be allowed. It would be allowed, but I didn't feel it. Right? Yes. Ooh, then you're being held back because not because you couldn't say it, because you think you would be able to say it, or you should be able to say it, but th there's that feeling that's holding you back. I felt like I couldn't. Yeah. What's that like? That state of mind? I mean, it's helpless. It's helpless? Come on, more? Good? It's sad a bit. You wish you could change it. Bad? Come on. Um, can be, can, it can be scary. Pardon? It can be scary. A little scary, sure. Okay, now, this state of mind you must have experienced at home at some time. Yeah. Now, and it's likely when it happened, I felt like I couldn't say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now you're out of, come on, now you're getting out in the world and now you have to deal with that. This right. old feeling is blocking you from saying what you need to say. Yeah, at certain times. Yeah, at certain times if it's appropriate and all of that stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Like I'll feel like it's not appropriate yeah, at a certain time. That's right. So I won't say anything. So what you may have learned about back home somewhere or in some earlier scene, is still ruling your soul, and your dream is reminding you of that. Right. So you may have to do something about that. Speak up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Also, the second word was sad, not bad, sad. That's a good word. Hmm. Nice dream. Thank you. Pleasure. You should take that with you. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you. Okay. Good. Yeah, you do that, Brad. Yeah. Nice. Hey, Drake, what are you going to post? What are you going to do that? Yes. What are you going to do with it when you get home? I'm going on the wall. After you, sir? Oh, you have some more Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got one. Did we have a copy? Thank you, got one. Hey, Tank. Mm -hmm. You want to come up? I don't have any more coffee. So I am walking along what must be a two-lane highway overpass or a bridge with a friend. Mm -hmm. Later, it's just me or maybe the friend went ahead. And we or I notice that some of the cars are, well, when I'm walking along the left-hand side up against the side rail, but on the right-hand side, the cars, some cars are using some bumps in the road as they go up the bridge, up the curve of the bridge. There's some bumps, and they use the bumps to catch wind and sail, and they actually get off the ground. So they're like kind of jumping, right, jumping their cars using the bump in the bridge. And, and it's to my right. 
Uh, and the first time one does it, I see that he gets, I don't know, four or five feet up off the ground over the air, so high that he's up higher than the uh, right-hand side railing. So I can see under him when he's airborne. But he lands back down okay in his lane um, and keeps going. And I think to myself, wow, how utterly dangerous, illegal, reckless this is. But it's also beautiful. But mostly, even though it's beautiful, I'm still thinking how really bad, how really reckless this is because it's on a public motorway. And also because it can, I mean, you could, you could go off the rail, you know. And if they do it wrong, they take themselves out down below or, or someone else. So now I hear another car coming up, racing behind me. It's, it's engine roaring. And sure enough, he goes past me and he gets, well, I'm right alongside him now. And he gets wind. Um, and he hits this. And then another car comes up behind me, so I stop. Whoops. I don't want to be alongside where the bump is because that's where anything could happen. So I stop, and I'm glad I stay behind because this car, okay, well, the first two cars were like Dodge Chargers. The second one was green and white, and he, he did it. He jumped nicely also and went on ahead. But now this third car hits the accelerator. I think he does so right after he sees me stop or, I don't know, right around that time anyway. He hits the accelerator, goes and hits this bump, and it looks like a very low-to-the-ground Porsche, like a Carrera or something, all, all dolled up. But this car, instead of going straight forward, catching air, and landing down in the same lane, instead he goes, his car catches air, and it flies way over to the left, very high, over both lanes, over the left-hand side railing, and off the bridge and down. And I look down and over the left railing and I see that he's fallen like two or three stories below. And I'm glad that I had stopped because he went right over where I would have been standing on the sidewalk on, or the edge of the rail if I had not stopped. Good. Good. Uh, that's, that's one page. Mm -hmm. The next page. Oh, there's another page. I didn't see it. No, oh, please go on. Also, I can see, I can be wordy sometimes, even, so, even in dreams, I guess. So also I can see that below it's like multiple levels, like a multi-story shopping plaza, uh, each with lanes and bridges of its own and overpasses and all stuff like that below me. He crashes down nose first onto one of those lower overpasses right in front of me and the car instantly blows up into flames and is still tumbling down onto the lower roads. But he, well, I wonder, I wonder if he's going to get out and he, he actually does. As the car is still turning and tumbling, he opens his door and steps out onto the lower road uh, just before the car comes to a final stop. And I rode in because I remember paying attention right there as the car was coming to a stop and he gets out. I noticed that he got out really slowly or carefully or maybe nonchalantly. I really couldn't tell. And I wondered if he's taking this all seriously enough. Like he's acting like, eh. So he seems to be okay, but now I can see that his hair is on fire. In fact, it's long blonde hair, and it looks like it might, it might be a female, actually, although her back is to me. So and I, I yell down from above, hey, your hair is on fire, hey, but she doesn't do or say anything. So I yell again, hey, your hair is on fire, still nothing. But someone down on that level comes up and helps her put her hair out. But then it looks like well, she might actually have a, a backpack on her back that's catching on fire. Or maybe, it, I'm, as I'm watching, I'm thinking, maybe it was the backpack that was always on fire, but now, now that the second person has helped her take that off, maybe it shows that it was really the backpack, not the hair that was on fire. So now, well, the backpack is on fire, and now they've got it on the ground, and they're, they, they pull it off. And somehow it leads to another thing catching fire yet besides the backpack. It's like each thing is leading to the next, the hair, the backpack, and then this thing. Each is catching fire. And now I see that they have the car open. Several people are over there now, and they're trying to get something that's in there. You know, there's, I, I didn't put it in the dream, but there's a big hole in the car. And I can barely see that there are lots of things inside the car, almost like shelves of books and wardrobes and things. And I'm wondering, well, is there another person that the car landed on and hurt them or not? Although I can't see it. 
And so I'm not sure if this is the end of the dream or as I'm just coming out of it. I think I'm still in the dream and it, 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 because I'm pretty lucid. I'm thinking to myself about what I had been thinking earlier the same day in waking life about living in the world, basically around dangerous stuff happening, but myself managing to keep my own stuff in order. And I guess the whole question mark of whether I can stay safe, too, or whether I engender or take on some risk from others because of living in the world like this, or whether I can stay safe. Certainly, I don't have to be jumping like they are, dangerously, but it's a question, I guess, of how far justice gets me. Yeah. Good, good. Say, um, would you go to six and read six? But now this third car mm -hmm. hits the accelerator. I think he does so after he sees me stop. That's enough. Yeah. What was that like at that moment? Right? He sees, right? <laughs> it's always kind he of fun to guess you. what's his question, his first question going to be. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. What was that like? Yeah. Um, somehow, well, it's a very split second moment. No. But somehow there was a rightness to it for me. It was, um, I almost want to say just, like it was as things should be. More even, I want to say even, uh, balanced, um, considerate. Like he was, like if it was, if he was waiting on me to stop before he punches it, then it indicates that even though he's acting dangerously, he is still considering my situation, and and that was nice. You're seeing that. Yeah. So, what's that like? <laughs> mm. It makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I, I, I don't, don't know, know the word good. Go ahead. Um, How are you functioning? How am I functioning? No. Well, up to that point, I'm really, I'm really not doing much, mm -hmm. except I did stop to keep myself out of the way. So in that sense, if I'm going to give myself a grade, I did well. And I do remember with this third car, I, I turned back and looked as he was coming up, no. which I didn't do for the first two. No. How are you functioning then? What does he get by looking at you? Oh, like I'm giving him the go-ahead? I don't know. It's your dream. I stop. He sees me. In that moment, What's happening to him in the dream? Well, I don't know if he saw me. It really goes by so quickly. And that's why I also have the question, like, I, I really don't know. Maybe it just happened that I stopped, and then he punched it, and maybe they're unrelated. No, no. I remember turning around. But he sees you, and yeah. he does what? Then he punches it. Then he goes. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. In the dream, what is being said? Wow. Okay, I'll help you out, okay? When he sees me, he panics and he leaves. No. <laughs> no. No, no. All right, you go ahead. I, okay, I could say he ignores me. Hmm? He ignores me. Is that what went on? And goes ahead and does something dangerous anyway. Okay, all right. And uh, you have all this background, right? Yes. You, you have the background. To appreciate what's yeah, about to happen, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. What do you say to him? 
I don't say anything to Nothing. him. Nothing. Well, there's no way I could say anything to him. Well, pardon me. This guy's busting along already pretty fast. He's, his pardon car's making noise. In I, terms I, of the I, dream. Hello? <laughs> could you stop? That's not going to happen. You could, you could have shouted? I, no. It, uh, Pierre, um, In terms of the dream, do you have a knowledge of all of this stuff that happened before? I just want to ask you, what do you do with all your knowledge? Yeah, I see all. what you're saying. Yeah. It's just that it all happened so quickly. Yes, I could, I, I could have yelled at him. No. But, yes. But I, I, the reason I want to jump on that so quickly is I, I really get the feeling it, it wouldn't... He was going to do what he was going to do, and me yelling at him wouldn't change anything. Okay. In terms of yourself, how are you functioning? In terms of myself? Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, I think the most, the best thing for me to have done, and as you say, given what I knew already by that point, uh, would be to get the hell out of there yeah, much faster. That's true, but I still want to know you at this point, how are you functioning? What name shall we give you doing what you are doing? Are you aware of, of all of this danger? Yeah. Uh -oh. Is there some sense that you're anticipating something? Yes. What kind of people do that? I'll, I'll give you some dopes. No, I'm seeing, yes. What level? I don't think it takes a very high level to see that I these guys are dummies right. acting recklessly. Well, I don't have to be a Roshi man. Does it save you in the dream, in terms it, of the dream? In the sense I stop and I, yes, I wait for those guys to go past, yes. Thank you. Right? It saves you, therefore it's trivial. I agree. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's trivial. <laughs> it was such a small thing. I just stopped. I, I, I'm talking about a dream, that's all. I just wondered about it. You know me. I just wonder about it. You know, actually, Pierre, now that you mention it and you put your focus on that point, <clears throat> that was the one point in the dream. I mean, my foot just kind of stopped. That was the one point in the dream that if, I, if you had to ask me what that was like. Yeah. That ha uh, I wouldn't be able to say, because that was the least amount of ego or anything. It just happened. I, it just that thing just happened. That's right? that's Fine. that stopping instantly was so f so fast, so automatic, so appropriate, so. Uh, um, what kind of thing is no there? no image in it? No, it just I just it I don't even want to say I did it. I just it happened. <laughs> Hey, what kind of people do this kind of thinking and seeing? Dopes. No. <coughs> um. Carpenters. I'm trying to put a word on it. Yeah. I know yeah. where you're going. Yeah, well, go ahead and go there. <laughs> <laughs> Enlightened. What? Yeah. And what? And what? Whatever you want to call that. What did you call that? Your dream. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> what was it? I didn't hear it. Enlightened. Oh, then you, what kind of seer are you? En enlightened. Thank you. And you see, at that moment, though, you might have said something, but didn't. Oh, that's where you were going with the... Uh, if I had taken it... For, well, that's pretty good. Mm, yeah. Were you sitting along with Regina? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, very. But that's 
Uh, that's in all of us. I don't know about that. I mean, it really is. I, we, don't, I don't care. I don't care whether everybody's in that bucket. But we, we just ignore those moments. First of all, it is not true. No, I think we all have times when we just pardon, pardon do and we don't even pardon. think. It's egoless. It's effortless. It's pardon just me. In terms of the dream, what yes. kind of seeing is this? Did it save you? Yes. Yes, and it was actually the other word for it. It was, it was the least drama of everything in the whole dream. That's right. There was no drama. No. You see, Absent of any the, description. Yeah. Thank you. And it <laughs> saved you. Yes. Yes, but you're saying I could have pushed it further. Now, that's right. curious because okay. how can you be enlightened and you still need more work? Oh, that's easy. You're the case. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay.